Hey guys, what's going on? Kelly back here once again, representing the 40 Call YouTube channel, bringing you another Warhammer 40,000 related video. Uh, today we're doing a series of videos all about the points changes from 8th edition to 9th edition, and what we can expect for some of the armies moving forward. Earlier on today, um, we took a look at the Space Marine list, then we had a look at the Tower list, now we're going to have a look at the Necron list, and some of the Necron models and points changes that we expect for 9th edition, um, including some of the um, Indominus stuff, I believe. So we'll go through it together anyway. Um, if you are new to 40 Call, we post Warhammer 40,000 content every single day, just like this, things like news, hints, tips, reviews, paint videos, and in due time, battle reports, um, once we get more skilled at doing battle reports. And when I say we, I mean me. <laughs> um, but with that said, guys, um, also thank you very much. Uh, for everyone who subscribed to the channel in the first month and um, it's been a really good success um, Gained like over 100 subs in the first month. Thank you very much guys And thank you for liking the videos a like on a channel uh, this small on a video like this goes a really long way and thank you very much for the um, Comments guys me and Carl love reading through the comments love knowing what you guys want um, and need from us and Long may it continue and we respond to every single comment so with that said, let's go to video three for the day. Video three, dedicated to the Necrons and what we can see in point changes from eighth to ninth. Um, as I've said in all the videos, um, if you're new to the if you're new to this channel and new to these videos, as you can see, um, we have the points cost for eighth. Uh, for example, the Catacomb Command Barge, 105 points. Ninth edition, 145 points, and that's a percentage change, not a points change of 38. So work out the maths for yourself. It's actually 40 points. Um, with 38% change. So we'll go through some of them. Um, while well, I'm going to go through the ones that stand out, feel free to pause the video wherever you want, guys. Take notes for what you need and then uh, come back to where we're going. So as we can see, um, the, the HQ choices, they're all in red apart from the Destroyer lot. Anything that is in green is either a points increase of 0 to 15% or any sort of point decrease. Anything in yellow is anything from 15% to 25% increase, and anything in red is anything above a 25% points increase. Um, so we've got the Command Barge, that's a hefty increase. The Lord and the Overlord uh, both get increases. Uh, Lord's going from 55 points to 70. Overlord's getting a 15 point increase up to 85. Uh, troops, we have uh, the Immortals are going up from 8 to 18 points. That's, that's a big move for Immortals, in my opinion. Um, what you'll find as well is, guys, it looks like the troops for most of the armies have had an increase, but the weapons have had a decrease, so the points might be negated elsewhere. The Necron uh, Warriors uh, have a points increase of 11 to 12, so a single point, but hopefully as we go through the weapons, um, the weapons, like I say, might have had a decrease. Um, Death Marks have had an increase there. The Lynch Guard have had um, a big increase, 17 points to 30, like a 13 point increase. That's that's heavy for Lynch Guard. Um, Praetorians um, up to 23. Stalkers up to 95. Um, the Destroyers is up from 30 points to 55. I think that's to do with how good they're gonna be in ninth edition. They have a lot more attacks, a lot more wounds, so that points is probably justified. Tomb Blades up by three points. Ghost Ark, uh, up 20 points. Heavy, we're going to the heavy categories now. Annihilation Barge, um, up from 90 points to 115. Heavy Destroyers, up from 17 points to 40. For those brand new, massive Heavy Destroyers, that's that's a big points hike. Hopefully they translate well, and I would love to see when this is done, what 2,000 points, 1,500 points, however many points you want to talk about, translates onto the tabletop. Can't wait to see it. Um... What else have we got? Let's have a look at some of the named characters. So all the named characters have had what looks like an increase. The big one is Illuminator, uh, Illuminator Serres, who's had from 110 to 145 points. His model looks amazing. Honestly, it's one of the best models I've ever seen. I've seen some paint jobs on some of the Facebook sites that I'm on um, in my local area. Really good paint jobs. So is anyone watching from uh, my local area? Well done, guys. Cracking paint jobs. Who else have we got? We, where is Trazen? Where is Trazenian? Trazenian finished second from bottom. Uh, point increase of 10. Um, we also got uh, Immotech the Stormlord is up by 10 points. Uh, Shard of the Deceiver is up by 10 points. Shard of the Nightbringer up by 10 points. So it looks like 10 points 
all around apart from a few here there like uh, illuminated uh, Sarah's uh, well, I'll leave that there for a couple of seconds let you guys take that in now moving on to weapons you'll see that most of the stuff is in green ie it hasn't had a point increase a very small increase or a decrease as you can see gauze blasters were seven points and will be zero in the new edition so gauze blasters now are free weapons in ninth edition the gauze cannon on a vehicle is also free down from 20 points to zero gauze cannon on other which i'm not quite sure what that is has had a hefty decrease of 75 percent down to five points um also free weapons heavy gauze cannon is now a free weapon particle caster is now a free weapon uh staff of light uh tesla cannon tesla carbine all free um twin heavy gauze cannon though is up from 30 to 40 points and 10 point increase but that is the only one that's in red on there um, everything else in that sort of section is either zero or free weapons we have melee weapons as well um, hyperface sword even though it was only three points before now a free weapon uh, void blade free weapon and war scythe is now a free weapon the only one that looks like it's gone up a lot is the whip coils from four to five but that's one point uh, and we have other war gear at the end here we have the conductic cloak um, has doubled in points from 5 to 10. We have, uh, what else we got? Resurrection Orb has gone up uh, 2 points from 18 to 20. Uh, Shadow Loom has stayed the same. Um, and the Gloom Prism has stayed the same. Some ones, that, there's some items there that I picked out that I've heard of before. Um, but that's going to be it, guys. Not a real lot to say. So the average unit increase percentage is 25% average for the Necrons. Um, I can't remember what they were for Space Marines and Tau. I don't think the Tau was actually a great deal. I think the Tau was about 10%. But anyway, I'll go back and have a look at those later. Um, but that's going to be it, guys. Um, if you're new to 40 Core, like I say, we post Warhammer 40,000 content every single day, just like this, including news, hints, tips, reviews, patent videos, and battle reports uh, all in due time. If you are here to the end and you think this article was good, Please drop a like on the video and please subscribe the video um, to the channel for more um, articles like this. Um, and we will be your one-stop shop for all your Warhammer 40,000 needs. I will put a link in the description below for this uh, so you can go and look at it at your leisure. As well, I will put a link in the description uh, for all the videos we've done so far and any more points increase videos that we do today or in subsequent days. Okay, guys, but that's going to be it. Leave some comments below. Let me and Cole know what you think. Any Necron players out there, anything that really stands out for you, anything that you don't like, anything that you love, let me and Cole know. We reply to every single comment we get in the channel and that will continue, we promise. Um, that's going to be it, guys. This is Kel signing out for 40 Call, saying stay safe, look after each other, and until next time, guys, we'll see you all later.